I'm on my way to Melbourne from Brisbane. We've taken a little bit of a detour out through Outback New South Wales in uh, three uh, Scania R series, an R480, which is an SCR six cylinder, an R620 V8, and uh, of course the flagship R730 V8. The R series has had a bit of a facelift. Uh, Scania have reintroduced the Streamline concept. The Streamline is actually uh, a concept that was uh, first coined in the early 90s to celebrate Scania's uh, centenary. And uh, they've revived it to give the R series cab a bit of a, a makeover. Um, Europe is going towards Euro 6. A lot of the other manufacturers uh, bought out new cabs, completely new platforms for Euro 6. Scania uh, have been running Euro 6 for quite a while. Um, this time last year they had uh, a thousand Euro 6 trucks on the road in Europe anyway. So there, there wasn't a need to go up to a Euro 6 platform. So instead, Scania is saying that they're optimising the R series. So they've optimised the drive line and they've also tried to optimise the aerodynamics of the R series cab. So as you can see, traditionally the R series had a deflector on the side here that to keep uh, spray and grit away from the, the mirrors and the, the windows. Wind tunnel testing meant that they've been able to bring the lip down to just like the uh, deflector down to a little lip. Headlight shrouds have been redesigned. The sun visor has had the ends taken out of it, as you can see up there, and that's so that no longer traps wind. And uh, the driving lights have been redesigned. So, and all this is uh, in an effort to give the streamline a streamlined shape. Added to that, there's also a new uh, the Optic Cruise automated transmission now has a uh, is available as a low drag uh, transmission. Over the course of the trip. I've rotated through all three trucks. Um, I was lucky enough to take the, uh, this uh, 730 out of Brisbane up Cunningham's Gap as a B double, um, 730 horsepower, and uh, it ate that hill. And once we got uh, to Gilgandra, we actually hooked this up as a B triple. As a B triple, it was really interesting. It was as it's 730 horsepower, it was like towing a B-double, but uh, in performance-wise, uh, the only time you're really aware of the extra weight, you know, we were close to uh, 80 ton gross uh, on on the road train route west, and uh, okay, it was pretty flat ground, but um, a bit of momentum and a bit of horsepower did wonders. It really, really uh, uh, scooted along the road nicely. We do notice it, of course, is that uh, you can't change the laws of physics. It is a much heavier combination, so you have to think about things a little bit more when, when it's time to uh, break or turn a corner because uh, the scan is deceptively quiet. You need to be thinking about what you're doing. One thing that's really come to the fore through this trip has been the ride and the road handling of the Scania. We've been on some pretty uh, rugged and ordinary roads. You know, once you get off the beaten track, a lot of broken asphalt. And Scania have managed to find a nice balance between comfort and road handling. You can actually feel what's going on around you, but you're not being pounded you know, in the kidneys by the by the rough surface of the road. You know, it doesn't have that overly suspended sort of sloppy feel about it. It actually stays firm and and rides quite well. Which makes it quite predictable because they are very manoeuvrable truck. The steering in the wrong hands can be uh, very direct. And um, that combination of, uh, you know, a good ride, all that sort of thing stopped you sort of rolling around in the cab, steering the cab rather than steering the front wheels. Another area where Scania have picked up is uh, they've been able to get a little bit more fuel onto the chassis. Um, then on the uh, on the left hand side here, the, the tank's been extended a little bit, so fuel capacity is now up to 1,030 litres, which has been a, a bit of a, a bugbear for uh, operators in the past, not quite being able to get enough fuel onto the Scania chassis. The drive down the New England with a lot of climbs and grades was a really good chance to play with the driving style that. Um, Scania really promote. Scania are putting a lot of effort into aftermarket coaching and um, and driver coaching and uh, with these sort of things the, the idea being that not only is the truck optimised but the driver is optimised and uh, you get real time information as you're driving as to whether you're driving in a fuel efficient manner through a driver display. After uh, leaving Canada we uh, headed down to Gilgandra 
and uh, and it was there that we uh, broke up the the three B double sets that we had, and uh, we turned the R seven thirty into a B triple. And over over that leg from uh, the the small town of Nevertire out to Cobar, um, I averaged uh, I had a fuel average of about one four five kilometres to the litre, which is not too shabby for a combination that's crossing just under eighty tonne, and we had a, a fairly blowy kind of headwind as well. From behind the wheel, not a great deal's changed with Scania, but it's, it's always uh, they've always had a, a quite an ergonomic layout inside the cab. Um, but all the controls are within easy reach. Um, one of the big pluses, from my point of view, with the uh, Scania has been the uh, Scania Retarder. Uh, it's an awesome bit of gear. If you're doing the right speed at the top of a hill, and you're in the right gear, it's amazing. You can how much that will hold a heavy combination. Um, we uh, descended the Moombies just north of uh, Tamworth on the um, uh, on the New England Highway, which is uh, very long and uh, uh, deceptively long, in fact, uh, steep grade. And um, the retarder did a, uh, an astonishing job of holding back a, uh, a, a nearly, uh, nearly full weight B double, and um, and it does it without a lot of noise. So the last um, two and a half days on the road with Scania has been a real eye-opener for me. It's been great to have, uh, you know, access to the 730 and the 620 and sort of get them out into the, the, the boondocks and, and um, to see how they behave in real world conditions. We tend to think of heavy duty applications being the domain of North American, you know, big leader edge trucks and um, you know, getting the Scania out onto the open road and um, seeing what it'll do with uh, this configuration because um, it may actually be the, uh, you know, the eastern seaboard uh, uh, configuration of the future.